All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan. I just realized I'm wearing my red shirt. Let's see. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, yesterday I wore a different shirt. So, all right. I think we're I think we're Tamaguchi here. Uh, I just kind of woke up. You know, I had a pretty good night's rest uh, last night. I mean, I'm I'm loving this. Uh, like, I spent so much money on like trying to get good sleep, you know, noise canceling headphones, blah, blah, blah. It was so uncomfortable for my ears, earplugs. But, you know, the, uh, you know, the, the nice little plastic or rubber or whatever, you know, uh, reusable earplugs plus this sleeping, this sleeping headphone thing was really the key. It's comfortable. You know, the uh, white noise that generates because it's built in Bluetooth, right? I just have my cell phone play like the sleeping app. You know, I paid like seven bucks for it. And I was happy to do that. Oh, it's fantastic. And I can sleep very well, even despite the heat coming on, right? The only time I wake up from the heat is when, like, oh, you know, my body's been already asleep for, like, eight, nine hours total already. So it's already time to wake up anyway, right? I would still prefer that I don't get woken up by anything except just my body so I could get the full night's sleep. But, uh, you know, if I, you know, if I just lose, like, 30 minutes out of, like, a nine and a half hour, nine hour sleep session, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure that's not going to kill me. All right, you know, my, my body gets pretty much what it really needs. So it's very nice. So anyway, I uh, did my morning routine with crypto. I uh, kind of complained. Well, I didn't really complain. But I was just like, ah, 404 coin getting, you know, hammered. Uh, did my video game stuff. And then, um, yeah, I was actually listening to some JPL uh, clips. So, um, you know, one was, I think his dad came into the church to thank him personally for saving his son because his son was 15 but having all sorts of problems and they spent like a ton of money they didn't specify how much about how they spent a ton of money on their angry kid and they didn't understand what what was going on and then they changed counselors they just simply listened to uh jesse lee peterson because the father was just randomly searching conservative people on youtube and then you know came across jesse and he's like wow everything that he says makes a lot of sense maybe we should try this and they just did counseling and then the next day <laughs> Uh, their kid is actually fine. So, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, this, so it's it's just like in politics, right? We can solve all the problems of today, you know, pretty much starting today, right? You know, global warming with nuclear uh, generation four power plants. In fact, they're actually getting more advanced now. I think now they're up to something called modular nuclear power plants, right? So I don't know what it is, but I know what the word modular typically means in this context, right? Or any scientific context. And I, I guess I think there's, it's just like a small scaled version of a mini nuclear power plant. It's probably more than enough to power like, basically just think of your like typical Con Edison, that's what we have here in New York City. Think of your typical Con Edison uh, power station, right? It's probably about the size of that. It could power like an entire city, like with millions of people, right? You know, when Hurricane Sandy happened, like the Brooklyn power station here actually blew up, right? I'm kind of, sh and, like there was a big explosion. I'm, I'm shocked that it didn't get, that bad right and nobody died from it it's like wow <laughs> right so uh yeah i mean i i think i'd rather have the nuclear power plant because that shit is you know that thing like you have to surround it in stone so yeah that thing will be much more likely to resist a hurricane right you know uh the thing the thing that's the stuff that happened in japan was uh kind of an exception because they had like a tsunami right it wasn't just a hurricane but like an actual like you know a miniature Noah's Ark flood. And then the meltdown state for that Japanese reactor was actually uh, cooling down, not blowing up, which is what everybody was scared of back in like 2011 or so, or like whenever that Christchurch. Yeah, I don't know what it is about New Zealand Christchurch. They always have crazy shit going on there. Um, but yeah, when they had those major earthquakes in the last decade, if you remember that. So uh, yeah, but anyway. Um, yeah, actually, I think I'm getting better with my memory here. I'm able to deal with these diatribes and then, you know, backtrack back to my original point. But, uh, yeah, um, you know, we can solve all the problems of today. You don't have to hire experts, right? You know, look at the polling for for politics, right? All those so-called experts, especially Nate Silver, 538, he constantly gets everything wrong. Sometimes he's way off, right? So why do people still, like, give them attention and money, right? Just stop doing that. Like, we can't do too much right now to directly challenge the establishment, but we sure as hell can start draining their money by just simply not giving them money when we don't need to, right? And that's probably another reason why they don't actually like Christianity and God, because, 
uh, that actually solves a lot of problems, and then a lot of people will lose a lot of money. I just now realized that because, like Jesse Lee Peters, actually, let me just show. Uh, shit, I already hit the X button on it. Uh, no, that's the thing I'm gonna watch today. Uh, bah, okay, I can't. Uh, here we go. Yes. Hi. All right. So, I'm just gonna let you copy the URL. Hi. Uh. What? From March 31st, to UK YouTube services in the UK will be provided by Google. Okay, well, uh, I'm not in the UK. Uh, I don't even know if I'd be allowed to go there. Uh, actually, no, I haven't really said much about anything about radical Islamic terrorism because there has been there has not been much to really talk about. So yeah, I, I'm pro I'll probably be fine. Uh, yeah, so you can you know search for this. Uh, so you can Google it if you want to watch it. Uh, but yeah. Right, this guy charges a lot less, right? Which comes at the expense of all the so-called experts, right? So there's an econo there's a huge economic loss because Jesse solves the problem, right? You know, the experts want you to keep paying them money so that they don't solve the problem, right? That's why a lot of fake conservatives like Breitbart or whatever, right? They constantly complain about, say, Hollywood being overly liberal, but they don't actually support any right-wing productions at all, right? Uh, when I come out with my game, you know, it's going to be like, you know, center rightish, you know, I'll definitely, I'll definitely have to try to mute it as best as I can because I don't want to, because they have to worry about deplatforming risk, but also it is technically an entertainment medium. So generally you don't want to be, uh, too st uh, strict on the, you, you just want to concentrate on making a good video game or a good movie. Like James O'Keefe would say, I mean, he just said good movie, but I've adapted it to video games because it's actually the same thing. It's actually superior to movies, actually. So, you know, I, I have to just concentrate on making a good, you know, video game or a movie and not a good conservative video game or a good conservative movie. Because my first movie was a good conservative film, but it has problems. Had I toned it down more, right, uh, but probably I was so excited about Trump that, you know, like, I could, I could probably would have been able to... Well, I, mean, I, I mean, I saw they would deal with the stupid union, but at least I would take less flack, right? You know, so, but, you know, it's, it, it's a, it's a, you know, it's a lesson that I, it's a, it's a fine lesson to learn. I don't have a problem because, you know, it's just money and I'll make, I'll make it back. Actually, I wound up, I did wind up making it back by getting rich off of cryptocurrency, right? And all the evil, wicked people that didn't like me for supporting Trump, they didn't get the benefit of that, but I did. So, hey, I, I, I won, all right? I won, I won that battle. And I want it very easily, right? And I, I, and then what I also gained was my freedom from mom and dad at the age of thirty-four years old. Ah, <sighs> you know, I still remember like the last night that I was sleeping in my room and with my mom and dad's play. I was like, you know, tomorrow, you know, because I was moving into my apartment that you see now. It was like, wow, tomorrow is really going to be the start of the first day of my actual life as a free man, you know. And then, and then the next night when I was actually sleeping in my own room, I was like, wow, this is great. I can do whatever I want. It's like, I finally have peace. <laughs> I can finally think. I can finally play the video games that I want without getting nagged. It was like, what the hell? It was like, wow, I dreamed about this day of my whole life. Right? It just took me 34 years. You know, so, uh, yeah. Because the way I do it is just get just become an entrepreneur. And it's so much harder, right? You know, than just say, go out and get a job. Right? That would have been easier, but... Oh well, you know my uh, mental, my mental distractions took me in a different direction, right? You know, or God took me in a different direction because you know it's to prepare me for something a lot bigger, right? So you know, a lot of the knowledge I gained was you know through all the suffering that I had to deal with. So yeah, um, but yeah. Anyway, uh, what you call it? Yeah. So there are solutions out there, and they're actually pretty cheap and simple, right? You know, I, here's another example: my alopecia areata, right? You can't see it, right? I just, you know, you know, I told this story before. I'll tell it again. Like, you know, I, I, you know, I had like a bald spot, right, and that's due to like a fungus infection. I think actually I know it caused it because it kept scratching the area, and, right, and that's very bad. And then I, I, pr I probably got infected when I did that. And then uh, a, a Western trained Chinese doctor in Chinatown said, "Yeah, we do surgery, cut it open." And you know, it's like an aesthetic. It's like, oh, okay, I really don't want to do that because they're operating on my brain area essentially. I mean, it's not going to have to pierce this, my skull, luckily, but it's like, I don't want, I don't even want anything near that. It's like, and I got really upset and like depressed. 
So that mom was like, you know what? Why don't we try the Chinese herbal doctor? I was like, you know what? I don't really care at this point. Like anything, I will try anything that does not involve surgery. So we went and then uh, he was food Chinese. So it's basically actually our same kind of, you know, race, right? I mean, it's a sub, it's a subculture of China, right? So he's like, oh yeah, I've seen this uh, thousands of times. Lots of people have it. I know exactly what they, he put this weird sticker on me. And he did, uh, the funny thing is he doesn't have gloves. So it's like, oh, God, can he at least use gloves? <laughs> But um, but yeah, he slapped it on. And I was like, okay, this seems stupid. But I was like, and then he explained to me that what it does is it'll just suck out all the germs. Like, oh, okay, all right, yeah, whatever. So they, you know, they have to cut up a little bit of the hair to make you know uh, make the you know bald spot like very obvious. So like the adhesion from the antifungal sticker or whatever. And then yeah, after two weeks, we went back to it. We pulled it off. I was like, see, now you're growing hair. I was like, holy shit, it's cured, right? It's like wow, and then like at that moment, like I I knew it's like okay, now I know why Eastern medicine is such a huge threat to Western medicine, All right? If I get shot with a bullet, I'm gonna want Western medicine, but to treat certain types of infections, yeah, I'm gonna want Eastern medicine, right? You know, I'll I'll use Western medicine to pull the bullet out and then treat the area or whatever. I mean, actually, I'll probably be in a hospital, right? So uh, that's probably more than enough. But if I start getting some like weird stuff, uh, yeah, you know, I better uh, I better go back to Chinatown here in New York City and you know <laughs> get the get the thing you know taken care of. So uh, yeah, but um, yeah, just remember, like, just because something sounds crazy doesn't actually necessarily mean it's crazy. You might have you, you should the first thing you should think of is uh, is this guy a grifter? All right. Is there an alternative? You know, it's going to be pretty hard, but, you know, eventually you'll, it'll come to you. Hey, anyway, that 12 minute rent over because obviously I just don't care about the news. I mean, it's all just, you know, boring anyway, which is fine. Right. And we already know what to be checking for. So we'll check that at the end. So a Bitcoin searches for this week is uh, still stuck at 11. So the normies are just not into it. Uh, Bitcoin does is at 62.7%. You know, 24 hour volume is at 154.6 billion. Uh, ooh, I'm going to have to watch that ad. That's six gems. Uh, so it's actually, you know, pretty decent, but it seems like the chaos has slowed down for now. But, you know, who knows? Uh, Bitcoin's down to 96.86. Uh, pretty much, you know, it's a little under 1% up. Litecoin's at 73.38. So at least it's recovered a nice amount. I don't know. It went down like a lot. Now it's up 5.71%. Actually, yeah, I guess that makes sense because yesterday or last night, you know, was at like 68, 69. I don't remember what I said yesterday. Um, but yeah, now it's recovering a bit. Um, the scam Bitcoin Cash SV is very much flatlining. Dog coins at 320. That's basically a little under 330 million market cap. So it's flatlining there as well. And Steam is at 21.79 cents. All right, so not too bad, not too bad, but we're just going to have to see what the rich decide to do because at this point, I have no idea what's happening. Because, um, again, I only have a guess, right, as to why everything's just being dumped. But there's something going on. Uh, they're afraid of something or someone, uh, I don't know. Or maybe, or maybe actually, another thing I didn't mention yesterday, but Bernie Sanders is actually going to be the Democrat nominee, most likely. At least he's on. he's very much on track, as you can see here. So he actually is serious about taking on the rich. Like he actually is like the left wing version of Donald Trump. Right? Donald Trump wound up, you know, cucking out, right? And even if uh, Bernie Sanders does become president, they'll make sure that he won't be able to touch the establishment's money, money and power base. But they'll definitely let him do all the censorship. So because that benefits everybody. Uh, that's evil. That is, and that's bad news for you and me. In fact, they might just shut down my game just by just simply because I mentioned the word Christian, right? You know, they, you know, so it's it's going to be pretty bad. Uh, but with that being said, Trump's going to win already anyway, right? Because the Democrats are really psychotic, right? That like everybody's psychotic. The only person that's sane is Michael Bloomberg, and the problem is he's a rich white guy. He, I mean, he's actually Jewish, but he looks very white, so everyone's just going to assume he's white. Um, and I, oh yes, because I had to delete my political videos, right? So, yeah. So most non-whites will look at Bloomberg and just assume he's white and not view him as separate from Jewish, right? That's why a lot of like the angry racist 
the oh, actually I, I'm probably be a little careful here. That's why I'll, I'll, that's why like right now things are happening against now. Nah, you know I'm not even gonna get into. It. I don't want to risk getting fucking banned. Besides, it's only local here to like uh, New York City, and Nick Point has actually said it's also happening in the northeast of basically the New England northeast area of the United States and New Jersey. It's happening in Maine. It's like oh okay, so it's actually getting pretty widespread. Uh, but all right, well it doesn't affect me yet so. Anyway, JFC is at three to four. Uh, the buying and selling pressure has finally reached some kind of stability. In fact, the three is matching the four in terms of like amount of JMC buying. Uh, four four coin is at least starting to recover, at least as of like thirty minutes ago. You know, some people bought at four, but not really. Uh, a lot of dumping at three, but now we see some stabilization finally. Like I just like I I don't know what it is, right? But it's obviously very annoying. But nothing can be done, right? Because my game's not coming out yet. Right, I just started the uh, RPG course, right? And funny enough, he's using the exact same code in my in the Photon Battle Royale course that gave me that stupid error, right? But I tried it here, right? Because it actually provides the entire project files. I ran it as and it works fine. So that means uh, in the last course, the guy because the guy talks really fast and like I can barely keep up. So he probably did something that like I missed. And I only have a split second to watch it. And I was like, I just don't have time to like go back to it. And uh, whatchamacallit. He also tends to like edit the videos, right? Because obviously he was trying to keep it short. Uh, and, then, and then he actually makes changes without mentioning it. And it's very annoying, right? And it's like, I just don't, it's like, whatever. But the good news is at least with using Playmaker with the Photon Pun support, you know, I won't have to worry about, you know, these syntax errors. Because that's basically what it, I mean, not syntax error. It's a... Uh, I forgot what it was, but um, there's like a it's like a subtle, simple fix. The problem is, where the hell do you find it, right? And obviously, I just I'm just getting started programming, so uh, I don't have the experience to just go ah, I know exactly what's wrong. Like whenever my computer, you know, uh, has a problem, thanks to both Google and my previous experience, I can I can fix the problem. I can diagnose it, then fix it, right? Computer Pro is in the same way, but it's going to be so much. It's going to require a lot, but, you know, it might as well get started. Uh, oh, yeah, so 4-4, four, four, oh, well, what can we do? 3-4, three, three to four, all right? Nothing we can do until the game's out, and that could take some... Uh, I mean, I'm giving us an estimate of several months from now, all right? Because right off the gate, I'm just going to make sure, like, at least some of the graphics look pretty good, and then others will probably be shitty looking, all right? Uh, depending on what I get from the uh, Unity Asset Store. Actually, I'm just curious. For some reason, the Unity Asset Store uh does not does not run well at all on chrome it actually lags like crazy uh but it works fine um on internet explorer seems to work fine here too excuse me so i i, I don't know um 2D assets, because so, there are some really nice graphical assets in uh for 3D as well 2D game starter assets free. 2D chests assets. Let's take a quick look. Uh, yeah, this is pretty nice for like microtransaction type of stuff. Um, there's 2D game assets by Gabriel for 25 bucks. I can get. Um, I mean, the, the main problem is a lot of this stuff looks cartoony. My game needs to look more realistic looking. Um, Cartoony, Fantasy Town. Uh, like, I need something that's more sci fi. Oh, yeah, here you go. Sci fi chests. So, for $12, I can get something like this is what I want to use for a looting container. Like, once I come out with the PvP instance thing, or if you complete your uh, Battle Royale mode and then, like, you get whatever rank, right? You know, you get then you get one of these chests, right? Because uh, I'm going to have randomized chest looting right simply because i just don't have time to code like what i need yet um so uh and then yeah and then stuff that you actually need you can just buy from the vendor because because i'm going to try and make it so that every single item in my game is useful even if it's junk okay so you just break it down into salvage uh yeah see the problem is a lot of this stuff is just cartoony so that's probably what, I mean that's probably also why I'm gonna have to like commission uh, my 2D whoever I decide to hire to um, you know make me some sci-fi stuff. 
cartoony, cartoony. Yeah. Park photo scanned assets. Hmm, interesting. Uh, this looks like a Angry Birds thing. Then yeah, see the thing is, I'm not going pixel art because I want something smooth. Asteroids Crusher graphic. Uh, sci oh sci-fi assets. Here we go. Uh, yes, this actually looks better. This is exactly much more likely. Yeah, I can use that as a container. Um, I think this is. So I'll definitely use the item stuff. Uh, can I use these as tile maps? Um, they have animated things. Okay. I mean, I could have something like this, too. All right, yeah. All right, so yeah, so they have a lot of nice uh, assets here, too. And then this could I could combine that with this, right? Like, you, you have, like, a sci-fi, like, base area or building, and then, you know, you have, obviously, the grass. Because I'm thinking about both the Battle Royale, because that'll be the, the first thing that comes out, because that's actually a lot easier to code. Um, you know, I could use some of this. So I can take all, the, I can buy all these graphical assets and then just put that in my game. And then, you know, at least I can see what it should look like. And then later on, you know, you know, I can spend the big boy bucks to, and which, it, I mean, I don't know how much it'll cost, but it'll probably be like 30 bucks an hour or 60 or $40 an hour for, you know, each of the stuff or however they charge, but it'll be reasonable. I mean, reasonable for me, <laughs> for a lot of you, you know, 40 bucks. Uh, well, actually, no, if you have $15 an hour wage, that's like, well, after taxes and tax withholding. Yeah, I mean, that's like three, four hours of work, right? That's just not that bad. So anyway, uh, yeah, so, but, you know, it'll, it'll come out good. It'll come out good, especially now that I'm actually learning more. So, yeah, it's a, it, uh, you know, we'll be, we'll be Tamaguchi eventually. Uh, two by two is doing pretty okay, right? Fifty-seven to sixty-one, but you could definitely have some nice big buy orders down here at fifty-five. So two by two coin will be pretty stable between now and like maybe a year from now before hyperinflation supply uh, hits hard. But by then we should be in full swing or at the very beginning of like the actual uh, bull run. And on top of that, Bitcoin's been holding in like two months, two and a half months or so, three months. So uh, yeah, it's uh, so that means the amount of time lag will have been will have passed, and now people will be like, okay, we need to start a bull run because we're not mining as much Bitcoin, and right? it's just time to go up. So you know, again, as if history is a guy. Also, I actually think like the real election of Donald Trump, that big uncertainty, will also have been passed, right? Because you know the election will be over, you know Trump will be president again, right? And then of course you know everybody does their usual political stuff rioting whatever uh and they'll be business as usual for the next four years so it'll be it'll be like the perfect fundamental situation to get this all started it'll be perfect uh compound coins at 4201 toshis of a dog coin that's a pretty nice big buy order so you know compound coins are gonna be pretty stable i still don't know why mitch doesn't like compound coin <clears throat> but oh well and the volume is 711 million compound coins uh so we had a major dump apparently uh went down as f no not that's right yeah so someone dumped a lot of compound coin here so someone's just exiting but then the uh buy orders are still very strong so that actually means this is pretty solid so that's a good sign that's a good sign all right anyway i don't really care about the news today so you know, we'll just look at this uh nothing nothing uh nothing um nothing uh yeah peter shifts a stupid fuck um let's see also he's part of the establishment i believe so he's actually in on the uh globalist agenda so you know he's a piece of shit anyway mm. uh crypto straw for all uh blah blah, blah. <clears throat> the feds have crashed market no it's only 30 see this is an example of stupid people so-called experts and fake news like well the u.s government is to blame for crashing bitcoin they sold 37 million bitcoin first of all they've already announced it it's only 37 million and 37 million out of this giant 42 billion dollar 24 hour volume for bitcoin like are you stupid that's less than a fraction of one percent it's like 
<sighs> oil prices are now volatile, more volatile than Bitcoin. I'm not going to go into it because at this point, I expect all of you to be smart enough to just not be stupid and be able to do basic math. So I don't want to get into it. Uh, uh, let's see. Yeah. Uh, daily hold all. Uh, one million people engage in blockchain economy within one decade, says Coinbase CEO Brian Armstrong. Uh, within 10 years? Yeah, that's very viable, right? So that means that my, now's the time for me to make my move, right? Get my game out, start learning programming, start getting better. And then, of course, censorship's going to get worse as well, right? Uh, but by then, BitChute will have their live streaming platform ready. And then at that point, I should be able, either I, I should be able to know it or Entropy, at minimum, will be able to uh, hook themselves onto BitChute Live. I mean, I'm just calling it BitChute Live. I don't know what they're calling it, but it's their live streaming platform. <clears throat> and then uh, all bets are off at that point. All bets are off, right? I mean, I still want BitChute itself, BitChute.com here, to be 100% decentralized because I still run into the occasional, like, my video will not process thing, right? But I just delete it and it immediately gets processed, right, when I re-upload it. So, uh, so they saw, but I mean, there's still so much further progress than YouTube was at the same stage, especially in terms of time. But that's also because back then we didn't have the programming tools that we have today. So that's also another big factor. And now that I'm actually learning programming in Unity, I can definitely tell like, yeah, now is the time. Um, Cause if I had to do this, if I'm trying to do what I'm doing now, like say two years ago when I first looked at it, it's like, oh my God, this is just, this is just overwhelming. And I just had to give it up. Um, so also I wasn't nearly as strong with Christianity and Christ as I am now, even though I already did basically convert because again, I converted like actually I reconverted or born again 10 years ago. Right. But I didn't actually start making the serious jump until like maybe a few months ago, maybe. Right. And then now, you know, I'm in a pretty comfortable level. Right. So now I just simply, you know, just see whatever Jesse Lee Peterson, you know, his clips now, all right, and then he's gleaned something new, but that, but then, you know, you know, as time goes on, you know, I'll, you know, God will show me the way, so, you know, because again, he'll only send you or me as much info as we can handle, right, because we're limited, we're limited because we're human, so otherwise you go crazy, uh, and overwhelmed, and they're just like, okay, I don't want to deal with it anymore, and then that's actually worse, so. Global fiat, fiat uh, because you're moving away from God. So he's like, all right, let's just be patient. I, I guess that, that makes sense too, because in the afterlife, everything's forever. Right? You have infinity time to do whatever you want. So the natural state is to be patient, because what's the point of rushing everything? You have literally all the time forever, not even on the world, but forever. It's even better than the world. So why be impatient? <laughs> Global fiat fiasco, massively bullish for Bitcoin. Um, Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, all right. So I don't even want to look at any of this. Uh, top to way off base. Here's why. Uh, okay. This is a very cool picture. I like this. We're going to use this as a thumbnail, even though this article is just stupid. Not because Daily Hold is stupid, but because whoever's uh, making this dumb prediction is just stupid. Um, see, I wouldn't mind having graphics for my game that look kind of like pretty much like this, right? Because I specifically need sci-fi stuff. I don't want fantasy cartoon stuff. I'm not trying to make World of Warcraft here. All right, so I think we'll end it on this. Uh, all right, so everyone's going down a little bit so far as of today. Standards is still skyrocketing. All right, because I still want to see Bloomberg versus Bernie Sanders. Because on, Because I think for my personal selfish reasons, it would actually be better if Bernie still won the nomination because I want the whole country to see what we've become, right? And I want people to declare their true natures so everyone, so other people could see, like, holy shit. Also, it's a good because it's going to scare the shit out of the boomers, including the boomer Democrats. And they'll be like, oh, my God, you know, if I, if I, I'm a Democrat, but if I go for Bernie, I'm going to lose everything, right? Because... Because now I want I, I want I want the boomers especially to come to come to terms with the truth, which is you know their selfishness, right, and their ignorance. And uh, no one's going to do that actually better than Bernie Sanders. And maybe we'll actually have the nice things in life too, because they'll actually vote for Trump despite being Democrat, and then actually be like, yeah, build the wall, yeah, deport the illegals, 
yeah, we need to unhinge ourselves from globalism and all that stuff. All right, so yesterday, uh, he was, so he's actually up. Get out of my face. He's actually, so Bloomberg's up two cents. Bernie's also up. So basically, Bernie and Michael Bloomberg will cannibalize everyone else's uh, uh, thingamajigs here. So Amy is gone. For some reason, Hillary Clinton's going up. Uh, Elizabeth Warren's up one penny, even though she's tanking in the polls. Yeah, Warren is, well, actually went down. Now she's going back up a little bit. Um, yeah, and of course, Joe Biden is just, he's done so. So anyway, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash, uh, oh, let me hit the X button here, the Lemon Factor BTC, because uh, the URL system in YouTube is just beyond stupid. I don't know why they make it so difficult to use, uh, but oh well. Uh, see, because I also have to start, because I have a couple extra YouTube channels, right? So I have to figure out, I want a personal YouTube channel so I can have like a JPL style, you know, talk show eventually. I need one for the name of my company. And I, I definitely need one for my game. So I'm trying to figure out how do I want to do it. So that means I need three more YouTube channels. Let me see. How many do I currently have? Switch account. I've got... Uh, I've got one. All right, so I technically have five, three of which is attached to this email. Okay. Uh, the problem is, like, Google also requires a phone number as well, a real one. So I, I think, and the limit is, like, three. So that puts me, so that's going to be kind of hard. Uh, I'm definitely going to have to try to recycle a couple of these as well. Uh, so that's why I'm thinking this channel might have to take up the role of maybe the talk show, right? And then I'll have to try, and then I'll, I'll definitely try to change the, see, I can't change, the, oh God, you can see how this is a mess, right? Because the URL just doesn't make any sense. Uh, so, oh well, I'll, I'll figure it out eventually. So anyway, um... Yeah, so enjoy your day or night. Again, no real news today. So, oh yeah, and today's lifting weights day. But I'm definitely going to have... Yeah, I think I'm going to make myself ghetto chicken parmesan. So, yeah. It, it surprisingly tastes really good because I have a toaster oven. oven like the best $40 I spent for a Black & Decker uh, toaster oven. Yeah, and funny enough, I don't actually have cooking gas in my apartment. I, I haven't had it ever since I moved in here. I've been living here in like, what two three years now i mean who knows so uh yeah it, it saves a lot of money and it's very convenient because i just pop it in 20 minutes and it's done if i use the conventional oven it takes forever to heat up it's like you know it's, it's so aggravating it's like i'm okay i got things to do i don't have time to wait on stupid things just to cook a little bit of food so uh yeah toaster oven is the way to go electricity is the way to go jersey day or night see you all tomorrow's video thanks for watching Johnson chan jmc coin 404 coin again no real news nice background picture and uh again i have no idea what's going to happen with the crypto like like it's a it's completely in a state of flux it's unpredictable um the more flatlining the better good but at this point uh it does look like maybe the rich want to dump because again they're afraid of something all right and again i think it has something to do with the election so um uh, so yeah, once that temper, once this temporary fear is done, uh, it's not the coronavirus because in fact there was a uh, coronavirus breakthrough, right? Some, uh, I think he's Jewish, or right? He looks Jewish. Some scientists in UT Austin came up with a 3D map of the coronavirus. They were actually able to successfully do it. So now they're actually going to be able, now that they can see what it looks like and have a 3D map of it, they can actually come up with a vaccine in 18 to 24 months uh so you know so so these crazy viruses are are definitely going to be a thing of the past or at least be a lot more manageable so uh yeah and china is already like the coronavirus spread is pretty much more or less contained right so you know uh so yeah things are getting better so yeah so it's just a it's just a wait and see and don't do anything crazy